So here we are now. It's signed to Warner Brothers. How did y'all celebrate that? We celebrated in Wingstop. Yeah, we did. We, 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 we and did. well, we went. Yeah, we was chilling. We just celebrated in Wingstop, and we just made a video, and like we let our fans see us signing the, the papers. But we had already went through like with our lawyers mm -hmm. and yeah. all that. But we just signed, and you know, like we do YouTube. So like, mm -hmm. um, you know, we just want our fans to feel apart. Exactly. So we just wanted to do that. It was just like a little intimate camera. Me and my brother, we were sitting next to each other, mm -hmm. and we told them, you know, it was lit though. Yeah. And that's something that <clears throat> I've always like commended y'all alone because y'all are big YouTubers and just allow people inside your life. How important do y'all feel like that is as artists? Just um, I feel like right now you got a lot of people like well, not a lot of people, but you got the part one one person that is very successful, and she does that all the time is Cardi. So mm -hmm. she's the same person that she was before she, you know, what I'm saying before yeah. she was Cardi B. Yeah. So I mean, and we was like that in this before. You know anything really happened? What? Yeah. You know, so we, we just kind of be ourselves all the time. And no I remember, what. I remember one video where uh, I think y'all had just bought your house, mm -hmm. and so y'all had walked through the house showing everybody. Yeah. Is that is that the house in the A? No, no. It was the house in Houston. Oh, okay. Yeah, we ain't showed the house in A. We ain't found a house in Atlanta we ain't found yet. The house in Atlanta. Uh, we recently we bought our mama house and and moved her to Atlanta from Detroit yeah. when I'm we just moved to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Um. We moved her there, and we're trying to find one for ourselves. I'm looking at someone. But it's just so hard. Yeah. Like, I, it, you <laughs> don't, hard, I don't want to get in nothing that I want to stay in for like two years, and then, it, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm not. So we just been looking for like, And then, like, the thing is we waited till after tour. And it was, exactly. the summer was over by the end. So uh, then everybody had moved, and then, like, the realtors was telling us, like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff is off the market. Yeah. Because everybody moved during the summer. So they like, y'all gotta just wait. So we've been waiting. And that's one of the reasons why he want to move back to Houston because yeah. we can't find him. Down yeah, here in the eight. Tired, and I'm yeah. tired of sitting here. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you I ready to make something happen. Yeah, I need Me too. Space. Like, I'm, I'm really ready to, like, move. Like, you know. You don't understand, bro. You don't understand. So with you being able to buy your mom's a house, mm -hmm. what was that feeling like? Because, you know, a lot of people say, man, I just want to make it and be able to buy my mom a house, a car. Right. To finally be able to do that, give your mom's the keys. How did that feel, that moment you gave her the keys? Man, she gave us so much stuff, bro. Yeah, it's just, she was so just the only one we could, yeah. like, call on. Like, when we was broke, no money and stuff, like, she'd give us her last. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one of the reasons why we appreciate her, and she just have whatever she wants. Honestly, Whatever but you know what I'm saying? To a certain extent. To a certain extent. Like, <laughs> she, yeah. <laughs> but, like, yeah, like, when we was broke, we needed money for a haircut at times, you know what I'm saying? Like, and mm -hmm. if it was her last $30, $60, you know what I'm saying? She was like, here, yeah. you know, just pay me back or whenever. You know what I'm saying? But if we didn't, couldn't pay her back, it was cool. But, you know what I'm saying? She just really looked out. And, like, she really was the only person there that supported us and really encouraged us. Mm -hmm. Like, we couldn't call on nobody else to yeah. ask and be yeah. like, hey, can we borrow this so we can go to the studio or, you know what I'm saying? We just fit it. Yeah. So, like, now it's just, like, you know, it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying, rewarding her. Mm -hmm. And just telling that's how we tell her. Showing you your appreciation you know for her. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, was she out? Well, of course, she was always a big part of your music career. Um, mm -hmm. Was she hard on y'all coming up? Yeah, she, yeah was she, hard was. Us. she was hard on us, bro. You can't go nowhere. Nah, you finna sit here in the house. You ain't going nowhere. You just want to spend the night at this person house that she like was so. not letting it happen. So when was the first time y'all just really got in the studio? Like was it as a young age? When was the first time we got in the studio? We recorded. Like oh no, I remember we had bought our own mic. Remember? Oh I yeah. Had got, we was in the living room. Oh, that <laughs> was just so we proud on vines. Yeah. Dumb. Sounding nuts. <laughs> I saw it. Sounding nuts, bro. We had bought like our own mic connected. What was the what was the uh, mix craft? Yeah, mix oh, yeah. Mix craft, exactly bro. So and you just could hook the mic up to the computer and it yep. just seemed right into it. So we was doing that. And then we couldn't even afford the real one. So we couldn't, I, I think it was, we, tried, we, bought we couldn't bounce like nothing. Or something like that. No, I remember we had to just pay like the 10, but then it oh, had yeah. expired. So then we, it was a long <laughs> call, man. But yeah, that was like the first time we like. Was in just really start recording. Yeah, like starting yeah, then, bro. when we first got our first deal. In the